some, I believe that uh, as the main person responsible for RPL, well, my, my authority, uh, responsible for RPL, RPL in the Seychelles, um, people have said yes, uh, we've uh, given our experiences down to earth, practical, and they, uh, I believe this has been very well appreciated. Well, I think in our presentation we have been frank. We have uh, shown people the real thing, what has happened, even the challenges, right? Because here it was a matter of sharing our challenges to see how we can move forward. And uh, Now we have to move on uh, from the pilot stage this year. We will do another pilot and then we'll have to start planning for national implementation of the RPL. And this will include advocacy, linking up with uh, partners, stakeholders who are going to be involved, gaining the commitment of uh, training providers in the Seychelles and other bodies that will have an input into this national project. Well, I can tell you, in our pilot study in carpentry and joinery, uh, you know, we had uh, uh, participants from the age of uh, 20, 20 plus to uh, one gentleman who was above 60. And uh, when uh, talking about his portfolios, we discovered that he had been the carpenter for our previous president, president and where he had so many references on that. So uh, when he was assessed and he was uh, uh, accredited with his uh, qualification, we feel this was a big success. A, a gentleman above 60 coming forward to participate in the RPL assessment and being successful and, and receiving his certificate. Whom do you think has, uh, will benefit the most with this RPL? It will be the, the workers, those who are already in em employment. Uh, first, uh, these people don't have time to go and attend full-time classes, full-time programs. Second, they have uh, developed skills, uh, knowledge, uh, and they have competencies that have not yet been recognized or been put into a formal qualification. Uh, today in the Seychelles, qualification is what matters. So without the qualification, it is very difficult for people to move upwards, that is to progress in, the, in their career, and also mm. for purpose of salary increment. What we are hoping to achieve that is that we have uh, at least reached the main groups of uh, employ em employees, workers out there who require RPL so that they can gain a formal qualification. Well, maybe uh, to add, we don't want to miss out as well. You know, uh, Seychelles is not exceptional. We have dropouts. We have people who, are, who have not been able to make it uh, at first time. And they are out there. And also they are a gathering experience. So we have to cater for them as well. The second chance uh, will be available for them to succeed.